Well, I'm pretty much obsessed with safety accessories in the shop, and I came across one that looks a little different. It's got a different action than most feather boards. It's a hedgehog feather board. So we'll take a detailed look at that, as well as another neat accessory they have, the mini feather board, which mounts on a T-track, and I'll show you how that works on a router table fence. Now, both of these feather boards have a single pivot point, and that's different than most feather boards you'll see. Usually there's two knobs that run in slots and you move the whole thing left and right. With this, you just loosen the one knob and then you rotate it as needed so you can start to get pressure with the feathers. The fingers on this are stiffer than most feather boards I've used and I think that makes sense because it's not flat. You don't have the whole thing in contact with the workpiece but just a couple feathers at a time so it makes sense to have those a little bit stiffer and apply more pressure. What's different on the back of these is the way they mount. Now the large version has a miter track hardware and of key importance to me is a metal hardware and that seems to lock really securely in place. I tried this on my saw stop, on my Laguna, on my bandsaw, on my router table. All of them it just worked the same and it was very secure. So I'm happy with the hardware on that. I think that's a big improvement over some other feather boards that use plastic hardware. Versus the mini hedgehog actually just has a T-bolt and that mounts into a regular metal T-track or sometimes you can adapt it to a shop made wooden fence that you would clamp to your main fence of your saw or router. And so a lot of different options to make that work but the key point is that it has a different mounting system and it needs to be installed on a T-track. Then I just want to look at a couple different styles of push stick and this is a common style that I see most often but it's really not my favorite. And I will use this at the bandsaw to push the workpiece that last bit past the blade but that's really the only application I've found where I do feel safe using this. Imagine using this at the table saw for instance. You're only holding down that back edge of the workpiece and that really invites it to lift up into the blade and that's a situation that can cause kickback. By contrast, I'd rather use something like this that has a long nose to it, so it's actually holding the workpiece down. This one also offers a little heel to help push the workpiece past the blade for a table saw application, for instance. Uh, but the other thing it has going for it is this really narrow dimension here. This is just about 3 8 of an inch wide, so there's very few applications that you won't be able to get this between the fence and the blade and that rubber pad just helps with traction. Um, also you have kind of an angle. This is a natural ergonomic angle to it. There's several different designs but uh, this one seems to work pretty well. So try a few out and see if there's one that really gives you confidence and gives you that feeling of safety particularly at the table saw. And just because you have safety features like a riving knife or a saw stop brake doesn't mean that you shouldn't use more traditional accessories like feather boards. And it's nice that things are easily reversible if you want to make cuts at the bandsaw. Just flip your hardware over to accommodate that. Now let's check out those mini hedgehog feather boards on a router table setup. So look, I'm pretty impressed with these safety accessories from Hedgehog. I like that large feather board and I found that it worked really well at my table saw, my band saw, as well as here at the router table. So that's really versatile in that way. I was super excited to see that these mini Hedgehogs work so great for my router table fence. I didn't previously have any hold down system on that so I just relied on my push pads. So that's a really great upgrade for me and I think that'll improve safety at the router table. Just remember that you need to mount those in a T-track, so if your fence system already has a T-track, you should be good to go. Otherwise, you might need to come up with a shop-made solution. As far as push stick, am I going to use the same push stick for each and every cut? No, probably not. I like to have a good variety in the shop. If I have a wide space, I might just use a push paddle. But where this hedgehog push stick really excels is when you have a narrow opening between the fence and blade on your table saw, for instance. So that's a really nice option to have. 
drop down to the description box. You'll find links to all these products we talked about today. Stay safe in the shop, and we'll catch you on the next one.